Hi Kim. You brought me a little magpie. I have. And what's the story with this one? Uh, she's actually quite sick. She um, has got very bad pox and um, has been throwing I, up. I agree with that diagnosis. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, that is really, really nasty. Look at that. Um, very severe uh, pox lesions on the toes, uh, lots and lots of them, and on the legs. This could be scaly mite, but um, I don't think so because it's in the, the mouth as well. It will just double check in a moment. Um, and that ulcerative lesion is very typical of, of magpie pox. Um, and that one there on the side of the face here. It's a very sick little birdie. Mm. And I'll just have a look down her mouth while we're here. Alright. Yeah, there's a sore under the tongue down inside the mouth here. I'm putting the tongue aside, so we've got that there, so pox in there, pox on the back of the tongue. Uh, she's had some spiroid worms down the down the back of the throat, but they've largely moved on. And um, I can't see much right down the side of the throat, but um, we'll have a look and see what else we can find in a moment. But she's a, a very sick little birdie. I'll just calm her and. Um, I'll put the cage down there for a moment. I'll just calm her for a moment. Let's go quietly. Let's go quietly. Just calm. Calm, baby. Calm, baby. Um, I think you know that magpie pox is spread by mosquito bites generally and biting insects but particularly mosquitoes um, how long has she been in your care when she came she's been care? in my care since last sunday right okay about a week and what have you been doing for her at this okay, stage? what i've done at this stage is i've bathed those pox yep uh, she's been getting clavulox tablet yep. half a tablet of a 50 meg tablet uh half a tablet day and night. Yes, yep. She's also been on Batril yep. at uh, two drops per 50 grams uh, morning and night. Yep, and two drops per 50 grams, so it's double the usual dose rate. Right? Yep. Yep. yep, and also Sporanox as well. Right. Okay, okay, well the, the um, what I'd be doing for her, there is a, um, a antiviral drug that um, I'll need to look up I've only heard of it very recently, mm -hmm. um, and um, I've got its name recorded that uh, some people are swearing it's making a big difference to magpies with pox. Okay. So I don't know that to be, um, I, I don't know that for sure, but I'll be very interested to hear how this little birdie goes when we try that for you. Um, and I'd also be looking at... Um, uh, supporting health and well-being with a couple of supplements. So mm -hmm. um, I like to use a glyconutrient powder that I think you know about, um, and I like to use a source of zeolite that I think you know about. Yep. Um, and I'd like to get those both those in in large doses. And the other thing that we consider is a source of transfer factors, enhanced transfer factors in large doses. So we're really trying to turn on the immune system just as quickly as possible yep. to help this little birdie. The, um, the antibiotics and the antifungals uh, are not, aren't likely to be of any great benefit unless she had uh, secondary fungal or, or bacterial infection, so they don't do anything for, for the virus. And she's obviously a very sick little birdie, um, and if she's... Stand up, you can come right here, right here. Here you are. Here you are. Here, yeah, I know. Let's just show you that. Good. I've just uncalmed her a bit. <laughs> so, um, I love working with magpies. Mm, I love them too. They're, they're, they're great birds. Okay, sweetie. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Um, so that's the way I'd like to manage her at this stage. So I'll, I'll record her weight. I'll just weigh her. Um, you just stay there, my friend. Stay there. And I'll put the scales on. She's fairly light. Come on, scales. There we go. Right, let's calm her again. Let's calm. Let's calm. Let's calm. Okay. Um, 
Mm. She's weighing um, 241 gram at the moment. Mm. All right. So she's quite large. So I'll just leave her there for a moment. Let's see if there's a foot. No foot for me to have a look at. Oh, there is. I just foot turned it over. Side, yep. Aha, uh -huh, there's there plenty it of is. foot. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll have a look at this under the microscope as well. And uh, I'll come back and report what we find. Okay. Okay, so just turn the camera off there. Kim, I think you know that um, magpie pox is not contagious to us. But just in case you didn't know, you don't have to worry about it from that point of view. It is contagious to other closely related birds, such as uh, butcher birds and uh, black faced goose rikes, I think. Uh, but certainly, butcher birds, magpies, probably think it's susceptible to magpie pox. Different species of birds or different families of birds have different pox viruses. So, canary pox, for example, um, is not the same as magpie pox. They're closely related, but uh, canary pox doesn't go to magpies and magpie pox doesn't go to canaries. And fowl pox, domestic hens also get pox, and that's a, a closely related virus, but not the same one. So, we don't have to worry about that. But um, 